Welcome back to marriage or well, hell no. Fellas, today we're going to have a little bit of fun. You know, we've been covering a wide variety of topics on the channel. But, you know, when you're on your road out there, you're trying to find a woman that you can respect, a woman that's feminine, she's beautiful, you feel inspired by her. It's important that you make the right decision in choosing that woman. A woman that's feminine, that's beautiful, but you need a woman who's accountable. And today, I'm going to be sharing a video with you guys. Fellas, we're going to laugh our way through this. This is a woman around here, just all these women be complaining. But one thing we know is that they struggle with taking accountability for the decisions that they make and the relationships that they enter. So without further ado, let's get into it. Realized he hated you and her first tweet before that was you ever think about the man who said they liked you before suddenly realize they actually really hated you and i can say yes sis. i completely know what you're talking about and if you've never experienced <laughs> you know it's just so funny how these women come up with these things about oh he liked you did he hate you then he started hating you all of a sudden like he just woke up one day and said you know i hate her out of nowhere they never think, what did they do to facilitate this process? But let's keep going. Experience this, or if you're a guy watching, you may be like, oh, hate is a bit of a strong word. Let me tell you how it feels to be on the receiving end of a man that clearly hates you, okay? And a guy does not have to say, I hate you, to say he hates you. And one thing you guys need to... Because we're not argumentative like women are. Most men do not want to sit up there and have to explain anything that's going to lead to an argument. We are not, not naturally wanting to argue and bicker back and forth about anything that might upset you. Spirit that is in some of these dirty, nasty, stinking men that we happen to find. So call us all types of names. You know, we, we know about all the names that they come up with. And shout out to our brother, Kevin Davis for saying this. This is a clear example of another woman who's out here. Shame, insults, guilt, the need to be right. They just let them fly and calling us dirty, dusty and everything. But the one thing that they never talk about is that these are the men that they choose to be in relationships with. But let's keep going because it even gets more funny, funny as we go along. Find ourselves in relationship with. There are real demons walking around this earth and it's high time that we pay attention to them. And it is so sad and it's so deceiving. Why? Because most men that you get into a relationship with, you're not going to straight away identify them as a demon. Okay. So someone wrote, she said, he broke up with me two hours before my birthday. This show. <laughs> Come on. All right. All right. All right. Yo, I think I'm going to get in trouble for this video, but I'm going to tell you the truth, man. It should be funny because they never accept responsibility for the relationships they enter. They call us all types of names, but yet they never say, you know what? This is the person I chose to get in a relationship. Maybe this is what I should get you know based upon the fact that i made a poor decision and that in the man that i chose to be in this relationship with but then it goes on to say you know what these men are so dusty because they're doing this and this and that but they never tell you the story that led him up to doing this decision about how they were nagging him and doing all this type of stuff but fellas we already know what time it is out here so let's let it keep going because like i said it gets even funnier Knows that that guy does not care about your feelings, does not care about how you feel. And before we start to say, and then also think about this how many times have we seen women sit up here, make a plan with a guy, and then all of a sudden just ghost that guy, straight up ghost him? Guys ain't tripping. Guys understand that that's what it is sometimes. But yet, when they, when the things get done to them, that's when they got a problem with everything. He don't know the full story. Here's the thing. Even if you knew the full story, in what world is this acceptable? Is this not toxic to you? Another girl said, when he sighed every time I opened my mouth to speak. And I can relate to this. 
relationship. In my last relationship, it dawned on me when I was in the relationship that I wasn't being loved. I was actually being tolerated. My man was not excited to hear what I had to say. It was... <laughs> <laughs> she was not being... Because she felt that she should be loved. <laughs> Fellas, how many times do we hear that? But they never understand that in order to be loved... You have to gain that over the course of time throughout the relationship. That's what makes a man appreciate you more. Now with the dagging, fellas, how many times have you been in a relationship with a, with a woman that when you got off from work every single day, they would just bombard you with like 60 questions. It was almost like an inconvenience every time I spoke to him. And it could be about something completely random. It wasn't always, oh, I don't like when you did this. It could be just completely random. He may be in the middle of doing something and he'll do like this. Like always the eye roll, always a sigh. I always felt like I was a nuisance to him. I always felt like I was troubling him. Let's move on. <laughs> the next girl said, when he tried to make me go home from the club at 10 p.m. on my birthday because he had to go to work the next day and then proceeded to try and argue with me about it in the car until 4 a.m. If you guys can't read between the lines, He's so busy to get home to go to sleep at 10 p.m. But you're going to stay up arguing about it to 4 a.m. It would have been better if you stayed in the club and partied with your girl on her birthday. If you so you're supposed to sacrifice all of the money. Now, I will admit this. He should have never argued with her. That would have been just final. Hey, I have to go to work in the morning to be able to pay for this, all the stuff that we did here. So there ain't no conversation about it going back and forth. But here we have a woman telling other women that, no, no, no. Forget the fact that he has to go to work and grind and be able to provide for this. You're supposed to stay out with me till my birthday. Girl, You, he knew it was your birthday and you knew he had to work the next day. Get over it. If you didn't want to go out, then just say that. And this is the thing, like in my last relationship, I practically had to beg him to do the bare minimum, to do things that he should want to do as my boyfriend. I honestly sometimes did not feel like I was in a relationship with someone. I felt like I was in an inconvenience with someone. I felt like- But that's the man that she chose, but yet she wants to sit up here and tell the world about how dusty men are but yet not take accountability for the decisions that they make. Fellas, it's always lessons to be learned on your road, but at the end of the day, some of these women, you just can't make happy. And that's the reason why I don't even take them serious sometimes. I just look at them and say, hey, girl, those are the decisions you make. I'm trying to actually find a lady to walk down the aisle with that I find beautiful, inspirational, but yet she's accountable for her past relationships. Till the next time, fellas, I'm out. Peace.